Welcome to the third video in a series of videos talking about the app Stellar from Aerie. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to create looks and save favorites in the app. In Stellar, you could save as many favorites as you want. A favorite can be a certain color or a lighting effect. A favorite can be saved using any of the color modes. Let's take a look at this and create a few favorites. Currently, we're in CCT mode, so I can adjust some CCT parameters and then click on the Create Favorite button in the top right hand corner and name this favorite. We could go to a different color mode, such as HSI mode, pick a favorite color, create the favorite by pressing the Create Favorite button, name the favorite, and hit OK. If I tap on the Favorites button in the top right hand corner, it'll open up the Favorite window, which shows all of the favorites that I've created throughout my use in Stellar. Favorites are automatically transferred from project to project and scene to scene, so you could always have your favorite colors with you. There's different ways of sorting your favorites, including by creation date, as they're sorted here, color mode, which allows me to see all of the different colors created for each particular color mode. We could also store favorite lighting effects as well. You are also able to search for a favorite. If you type in something like red, it'll search for all favorites that contain the word red. To select a favorite, you just tap on the card. The app will automatically change the color and the color mode to the favorite you selected. Favorites can also be applied to different types of fixtures. For example, if I create a color using the sky panel, I could switch to the L10, tap on the favorites button in the top right hand corner, and select the color I created in the sky panel you'll see that the L10 jumps to that color mode and that particular color. In Stellar, you could also create different kinds of looks. A look is a collection of fixture settings and output that allow you to save a lighting mood or setup. For example, I have all of my fixtures here set with different colors. If I tap on the Looks button in the top left-hand corner, it brings up the look screen. It's empty now as there are no looks created. To create a look with the current fixture settings, I tap on the blue plus button at the bottom of the screen. This will bring up a dialog box which will allow me to name this look. I'm going to name this look Setup1. This look is now saved. I can hit the X button in the top right corner to go back to the color screen. I will now change all of my fixtures to different colors. I could also choose different types of color modes. Now that I've changed all of my different fixtures, I'm going to go back to the look screen by pressing the looks button in the top left hand corner. You'll see a few options here. I could update my scene, which will replace the settings in setup one for the current settings I have right now. I could hit the restore button, which will revert back to all of the output settings of setup one. But right now, I'm going to press the blue plus button in the bottom of the screen to create a second look. We'll call this setup two. I now have two looks present. I could jump between the two looks and this will change all of the different settings of the fixtures to the previous look. If we look in the background at the color screen, you'll see not only do the colors change, but also the color modes depending on the setup that you've chosen. I could have as many looks as I want to in any given scene. Let's see what happens if I want to make a change in setup 2. I could go back to the color screen, make a slight change to the color, go back to looks, and now I could tap the update button. This will now update setup 2 to the current settings. If I made a change by mistake, I could go back to looks and press the restore button in order to go back to the look that I had before. That concludes this video of favorites and looks inside of Stellar. Please join us for the next video where we'll be going over creating a light plot for visually mapping your fixtures. Thanks for joining us.